Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Beeline to Victory podcast. This is episode 18. Today, we're just going to cover a lot of Michigan basketball. We'll go over and recap the game against Wisconsin. And we will preview the game against Iowa as well as previewing our special episode, which is on Friday. So, Michigan traveled to Madison to play Wisconsin, and they absolutely annihilated them, especially in the first half. They were up 44-22 to at the end of the first half, and they continued to cruise to an 11-point victory, 83-72 to over the lowly Wisconsin Badgers. Uh, some stats from the game. Mo Wagner had 20 points, along with 11 rebounds, three for six from three. Good to see that. Uh, Duncan Robinson is very important. He started because, unfortunately, as they live result with his ankle injury, but four for seven from three. Finally, seemed to be getting a stroke back. Muhammad Ali Durakman, who's up to 11.3 points per game, had 15 points, and Matthews added 11. Uh, for the Badgers, just had two people in double, double digits. Hap had uh, three people. Hap had 29. Davison had 10, and Pritzel had 13 off the bench. Hap is really their only uh, star on this team and really their only big-time player. Wisconsin, though, what is concerning as a Big Ten fan is to have Wisconsin have pretty high expectations going into the year. Definitely a tournament thought of as a tournament team. To be so bad and just at the bottom of the Big Ten, I mean, they're down there right now with teams like Iowa, Illinois, and Rutgers, which usually round out the Big Ten. Those three usually round out the Big Ten, and Wisconsin is usually at the top. And to see them at the bottom is is not good because they're a very important team in this conference in a lot of sports. And uh, for them to be good is really important for this conference to prosper. Uh, an update on Isaiah Livers. He John Beeline said he's expected to be back for the game tomorrow against Iowa, where now number 22, ranked Michigan, will play Iowa tomorrow at the Chrysler Center. Iowa is 12 and 15. So 15 losses, as Wisconsin had 15 losses going into the game against Michigan. Uh, this is a game where we should just blow the doors off of Iowa. They're not good. This is not a good basketball team. It's a team that is going to play hard, though. They're going to come out and play hard. They gave um, Michigan State a run for their money. Um, they're third to last in the Big Ten right now, though. And this is not a game. Um, this is not a game Michigan State likely, but they should go in there and just destroy them. They should not have an issue with them. Uh, it's 6.30 on Big Ten Network. It is at home, so that's another thing. This really shouldn't be an issue. Uh, quickly, I want to just I – don't, I don't have a slide for this, but I do want to talk about the Big Ten in general. The standings right now go as this. Ohio State, Michigan State, Purdue, Nebraska, Michigan – Penn State, Indiana, Northwestern, Maryland, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, Rutgers. Some big games that we have not addressed. Ohio State beat Purdue last week. Uh, Huge win for Ohio State. Absolutely huge. So that, that one really set Purdue in motion to start having a collapse. Now, Purdue... Sits at the number six ranking. They lost to Michigan State and Ohio State last week and only moved down three spots somehow. Michigan State won on a Miles Bridges late se- uh, last second three pointer. One by three, Michigan State moved up. So now, if Michigan beats Ohio State on uh, this weekend, Michigan State, as long as they went out against a very easy schedule, will win the regular season Big Ten title. Will they? No. They need Ohio State to lose one more game as well because... No, they don't. 
Overall record will determine that. So the overall record of Ohio State will not be as good if Michigan State wins out. So Michigan State just needs Ohio State to lose to Michigan. Right now, Michigan State, who's now number two in the country, is playing Minnesota and absolutely demolishing them by 18 at the half. It has not been pretty. I don't advise watching that. Not been good. Okay, so we'll move on now, and we're going to preview our special podcast on Friday. So this weekend, Michigan goes into one of their three or four biggest games of the year against a rival, against a team that came back from double digits to beat them last time in Columbus, which would have been a huge win looking back at it now. Uh, this is a game I think they need to win, but I'll talk more about that on Friday. I'm going to give you keys to the game. We're going to have various guests. Uh, we're going to dive into detail this game. The guests, we'll, we hopefully we can get an Ohio State fan, hopefully a Michigan State fan, hopefully a Michigan fan, maybe all at the same time. We'll have a panel talking about the preview to this game. It's going to be a good one. It's at the Chrysler Center. This is got this is this is a game. I I don't I think Ohio State. Right now is probably a better team. I don't think they're a better team talent wise, but right now it's probably a better team. For this game to be at the Chrysler Center, Michigan to have home court advantage. This is a game where I I see a complete toss up, and that has not been the case going into a lot of these games for me this year. The game at Michigan State, I mean, you're really not expecting them to win that one. You're really not expecting them to beat Purdue either one of those times. This one I think is a complete toss up. And I'm really, really excited to see how the team performs this weekend. So make sure you join us on Friday. Well, that is going to do it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and join us on Friday for the special podcast. Thanks for watching.